How earthquake resistant buildings work? Earthquakes strike without warning. In seconds, the ground shakes and entire cities can crumble. But some buildings stand firm while others collapse. So what makes a building earthquake resistant? Let's explore the engineering that protects lives when the earth moves. First is the challenge buildings versus nature an earthquake doesn't just move the ground it sends vibrations in all directions when those vibrations reach buildings they cause the structure to sway twist and shake if a building is too rigid it cracks if it's too weak it collapses the goal of engineers is simple but critical make buildings flexible enough to survive the shaking Let's understand the forces. During an earthquake, the ground moves, but the top of the building wants to stay still. This creates shear forces and bending moments That's, that stress the structure. The taller the building, the stronger those forces become. To resist them, engineers design buildings that can absorb energy and move safely with the ground instead of against it. The secret, flexibility and damping. Think of an earthquake resistant building like a tree in the wind. It bends, but it doesn't break. Engineers use flexible materials and smart designs so buildings can sway without collapsing. They also add damping systems, devices that act like shock absorbers. Those dampers turn violet vibrations into smaller manageable movements. Base isolation, floating foundations. One of the most powerful techniques is base isolation. In this system, the building doesn't sit directly on the ground. Instead, it rests on bearings or sliders that can move independently. When the earth shakes, the base shifts, but the building above stays relatively still. It's like putting the structure on rollers, isolating it from the worst of the motion. Base isolation has saved countless lives in Japan and New Zealand. Cross braces and shear walls. Another key element, reinforcement. Cross braces form diagonal supports that resist side to side motion. Shear walls are solid vertical panels that act like stabilizers. Moment frames use strong joints that bend instead of snapping. Together, these systems create strength and flexibility in the right balance. The materials that make it work. Modern earthquake resistant buildings use reinforced concrete, strong in compression, flexible under tension, structural steel, which can bend without breaking, composite materials, combining strength and elasticity. Some even use shape memory alloys that return to the original form after deformation. Smart technology and sensors. Today, engineers use smart monitoring systems that detect even the slightest vibrations. Sensors feed data in real time. FP engineers assess building safety immediately after a quake. In the future, AI-powered systems could automatically adjust dampers and predict potential weak points before failure occurs. Designing for survival. Earthquake resistant design isn't about perfection, it's about performance. Even if a building bends or cracks, the goal is to prevent total collapse and save lives. That is the true purpose of seismic engineering, not to stop earthquakes. Or to make sure humanity endures them. Conclusion How do earthquake resistant buildings work? Through smart design, flexible materials, and a deep understanding of physics. They don't fight the earthquake, they flow with it. It's one of the best examples of engineering learning from nature strong yet flexible. Thank you very much for watching. 
like share and subscribe for more videos that explain the science behind modern engineering marvels thank you